Item P, approve deny getting an appraisal for the two acre area on the LECO property to be used for sewage treatment plant as part of the Mango Circle Act 537. Let, let me just give you a little bit more information on this. Uh, as you know, this is the one that we're under a consent order with the DEP to, to build. Uh, and initially, at the direction of the DEP, uh, we chose the Banahaski property, a portion of it, as the site for the package plant. DEP uh, chose that. DEP did. And of course, that will cause quite an uproar with, within the Banahaski family. They hired legal counsel and uh, their attorney said, can you look anywhere else? Can we consider anything else? And I think that's when Jessica rolled up her sleeves again, talked to the DEP, started doing some additional engineering, and it was determined that we could possibly move down the road to a location on the Leco Farm. Now, Leco Farm is where the Garvin EQT drill pad is going to be constructed and right. built. So he's pretty much dedicated a bulk of that farm to, you know, quasi commercial industrial use. Um, Michael Crimmy of my office contacted Mr. Leco and has had uh, very positive conversations about what we want to do. Uh, I know that Jessica and Harshman have done a redesign and they've identified that area that on the Leco farm that would meet the needs uh, for the package plant. Uh, it was also important that we work with EQT to make sure we weren't interfering with their operations. And a location has been identified. Uh, Mr. Leco is willing to work with us. Uh, what he has said is, well, what is your offer? Uh, under the second class township ordinance, you have to have an appraisal before you can make an offer. And, and your purchase price has to be pretty right on that appraised amount. Um, so that's the purpose of, of, of this motion, to authorize uh, uh, the securing of an appraisal so that a formal offer can be made to Mr. Leco. Is that right? Yeah, that's 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 that's